Hi folks, Doyle Docs here. Welcome to my Sunday String Along. And I'll be stringing along today with my Olsen guitar in one of my favorite places in the whole world. And that's uh, Saucer Studios here in Austin, Texas, and this Eric Johnson's place. And Eric was here just a little while ago, but he allowed me to uh, come in and record something for a friend. And, uh, and Kelly Donnelly has also allowed me to stay over a little bit and uh, be with you today so I could do this because uh, I'm on the road right now. Through it all, sing with me. Through it all, I've learned to trust in Jesus. I've learned to trust in God. Through it all, through it all, I've learned to depend upon His Word. Through it all, sing with me, through it all, I've learned to trust in Jesus. I've learned to trust in God through it all, through it all. I've learned to depend upon His words. I've learned to depend upon His words. Like the fragrance after the rain, Jesus, 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 let all heaven and earth proclaim. Shall all pass away, but there's something about that name. Like the fragrance after the rain, let all heaven and earth proclaim. and kingdoms shall all pass away. <laughs> Think about that. But there's something about that day. Kings and kingdoms shall all pass away. There's something about that man, Jesus. He's King of kings and Lord of lords. Amen. At the end of his uh, reign, his government, there shall be.
deixar bem na unha. Jesus said, He has sent me to heal the brokenhearted, to set the captives free, to set at liberty those uh, to, that uh, and set them free. And uh, He also, uh, you remember a few weeks ago I talked about that. You know, what is the mission statement of Jesus? And uh, He said to, uh, and also to uh, give recovery of sight to the blind, to set at liberty to those who are bruised, and to preach the acceptable year of the Lord. And I, I just happened to bring some of my uh, string-along notes here, but when he said opening of sight to the blind, you know, I, I was thinking about uh, the world and how many problems there are. You know, my daughter, we were sitting at the table last night, and I was in Abilene with my daughter Haley and her Husband Jake, Emmett, and Emmy Lou. Now my son Caleb has moved down here. So they're Texans now. And I'm in Austin here. And uh, and she shared something with me that just really touched my heart. And it was these babies. And you can just go online and put on there, you know, babies. You can even pause this if you want to and, and go to YouTube and put on their baby's first uh, sight you know, and they have these glasses or, or some of them, they'll, they'll take off the bandages from, you know, and they were legally blind. And when they put the glasses on, on the uh, baby there, you know, and, and they just start smiling and they look at their mom and uh, it's just a beautiful thing. And there's one boy uh, and he's a younger boy. I mean, he's not a baby. He's an older, uh, you know, but uh, he was colorblind. They put these glasses that allow him to see color. And he just stood there and he looked around and he took them off and he looked around again and big tears just started flowing down his face. And he just started just kind of, <laughs> and he just, just wept and it just touches my heart every time I see that. See those babies for the first time, look up and see their mother. And, uh, and, and that's the way we should be still with the Lord. Remember when uh, your eyes were first enlightened when you saw Jesus really in your heart for the first time, when you really saw him, you know? And uh, and uh, we should never, you know, just like amazing grace, his grace is still amazing to me. And Haley wrote a song with Michael Farron, a great songwriter, amazing still. And uh, his grace is still amazing to me. And if we ever lose sight of that, folks, we've lost a lot. And that's what do you think about it. Amazing grace, how sweet the sound that saved a wretch like me. I once was lost, just never gets old. I know I did this the other day, but now I'm found. Blind, but now I see. And so, you know, uh, we're going through a lot in this world, but let's not forget who we are and whose we are. And uh, I was looking in the, of course, last week I talked about Proverbs. Let me look over here in Proverbs. Uh, this is Proverbs chapter 16, is, you know, and, and it, it says to, uh, a, well, let, let me go on. There's so many good verses in here, but a man's heart, a man's mind plans this way, but the Lord directs his steps. This is uh, chapter 16, verse 9. A man's mind uh, plans his way, but the Lord directs him st his steps and makes them sure. And... Uh, I said something about this before. He makes my feet like hind's feet. This actually comes from, I wanted to read that for you. It comes out of Habakkuk, uh, and this is chapter 3, in the very last part of that uh, book. In verse 17, though the fig tree does not blossom. Have you had problems in your life? Listen to this. Though the fig tree does not blossom, and there is no fruit on the vines, 
Though the product of the olive fails and the fields yield no food, though the flock is cut off from the fold and there are no cattle in the stalls, yet I will rejoice in the Lord. Even in the midst of this, I will exult in the victorious God of my salvation. And the Lord God is my strength, my personal bravery, my invincible army. He makes my feet like hind's feet. He makes them sure. He makes my feet like hind's feet, like the feet of a deer. And I've said this before, but a deer is uh, can run just as swiftly and comfortably in a valley or on the side of a hill or a mountain. And, you know, it, it's, it doesn't matter. He makes my feet like hind's feet, and he will make me to walk, not stand still in terror, but to walk and make spiritual progress upon my high places of trouble, suffering, or responsibility. Do you get that? In other words, we got to keep walking. You got to keep on walking and uh, walking in the light of the Lord. And, and he says, he will cause me, my uh, feet to, and to, he will make me to walk, not stand in terror, but to walk and make spiritual progress upon my high places of trouble, suffering, or responsibility. And uh, that's why I wanted to come to you. I, I feel like I have a responsibility to, to do this and to, uh, to be with you folks. And uh, I mean, I've had a, a, a really busy week and I, I moved my son out to Texas this week. We've had a lot going on and I promised a good friend of mine, Kenny Thacker, who is making a record. And uh, Ron Block is on this cut that we just did here at Eric's studio. Ron Block, I don't know who else is on there. I know Vince Gill is also on this project. And uh, he's good friends. Kenny's great friends with Ricky Skaggs and, and uh, Sharon. And he knows a lot of people. well-connected. He's a minister. He's like a bishop to a lot of other pastors. So all the money on this project goes to other ministers. And, uh, and so uh, that's the kind of guy Eric Johnson is. He said, yeah, I'll do that. And I called Don Kelly Donnelly the last minute. He said, yeah, I'll come over and do that. And it's just a blessing to know people like this. We've got to keep walking, though, folks. We've got to keep doing things and being a blessing. I know the world is in turmoil right now. But, you know, Jesus said that. In fact, he knew. He knew all about this. If you go to John uh, at chapter uh, 14, do not let your hearts be troubled. That's something you can control. Don't be agitated or distressed. You believe in God, adhere to and trust and rely on God and believe in your hearts and, ad and adhere to and trust and rely also on me. In verse 27, one of my favorite uh, verses in the Amplified, peace I leave with you, my own peace. This is, he says, one thing he said, I leave with you, my own peace. You think about that, uh, that kept him when he was going to be thrown off of a cliff by people that hated him. My own peace I now give and bequeath to you. Not as the world gives do I give to you. Do not let your hearts be troubled. That's something you control. Don't let your hearts be troubled and neither let them be afraid. Stop it. He says, stop allowing yourselves to be agitated and disturbed and do not permit yourselves to be fearful and intimidated and cowardly and unsettled. There are two things. Don't let your hearts be troubled or afraid. There are two things there. Don't, he said, stop allowing yourselves to be agitated and disturbed troubled. And you can be troubled every day of your life. And do not permit yourselves to be fearful and intimidated and cowardly and unsettled. And that's what Satan wants you to feel like today, especially in these, in these times that we're living in today. I said the other day, I wanted to read Philippians chapter four again, and I will. Do not fret or have any anxiety about anything, but in every circumstance and in everything, by prayer and petition, definite requests, with thanksgiving. That's a very that's a key. With thanksgiving. Always give thanks. Continue to make your wants known to God, and God's peace shall be yours. That tranquil state of a soul assured of its salvation through Christ, and so fearing nothing from God and being content with its earthly lot of whatsoever sort that is, that peace which transcends all understanding shall garrison and mount guard over your hearts and minds in Christ Jesus. You're not going to lose your heart or your mind. For the rest, brethren, whatever is true, whatever is worthy of reverence and honorable and seemly, 
whatever is just, whatever is pure, whatever is lovely and lovable. Go look at those YouTubes I told you about. Look at a child when they see for the first time or when they hear for the first time. It's an amazing thing. Whatever is pure, whatever is lovely and lovable, whatever is kind and winsome and gracious, if there is any virtue or ex and excellence, and it says here, and if there is anything worthy of praise, think on and weigh on and take account of these things and fix your minds on them, not what's going on in the world. We know there's trouble in the world, but you know, Jesus said, I, in fact, he said this in, uh, and also in the book of John, and this is in chapter, let's see, chapter 16, uh, verse 33, I have told you these things so that in me you may have perfect peace and confidence. In the world, you have tribulation, trials, distress, frustration, but be of good cheer. Take courage. Be confident. Take courage. Be confident. It's there for you. And, and he says, uh, be confident, be certain and undaunted, for I have overcome the world. I have deprived it of its power to harm you, and I have conquered it for you. So do you believe that or not? I do. And I also wanted to read that in Philippians 4. It's one of my favorite passages in the whole Bible. And this Galatians, Ephesians, Philippians, here we are. And let me, I got something stuck on it. Here we are. This is a new living. Always be full of joy in the Lord. And I say again, rejoice. Let everyone see that you are considerate in all that you do. Remember, the Lord is coming soon. And I believe that. Don't worry about anything. This is the Bible. This is Philippians chapter 4, verse 6. Don't worry about anything. Instead, pray about everything and tell God what you need and thank him. There it is again for all that he has done. Also, thank him for what he's doing now and what he's going to do. Then you will experience God's peace. You want his peace? It starts with thanksgiving, which it seeds anything that we can understand. His peace will guard over your hearts and minds as you live in Christ Jesus. And now, dear brothers and sisters, one final thing. Fix your thoughts on what is true, honorable, right, pure, lovely, admirable. Think about things that are excellent and worthy of praise. Keep putting into practice all that you have learned and received from me and everything you heard from me and saw me doing then the God of peace shall be with you. I went over to see my friend Leo the other day, and uh, and we were just talking about some things. And I got my guitar, took my guitar with me, and he just started singing. He just wanted to sing some songs. And one of the songs, and why the reason I sang it a while ago, is uh, Jesus. There's something about that name, and uh, it is amazing what you can do and how it can build your heart up. You know. And when I, when I think about uh, the YouTube that I saw you, think about things like that. Also, my granddaughter, Emmy Lou, when she prays, she always said, thank you, Lord, for this. Thank you for that. And thank you for touching this person. And when she prays, she thanks the Lord for doing this. So why don't you do that? It's childlike faith. Thank him in advance. Thank you for what he's going to do. Don't let your hearts be troubled. Stop allowing yourselves to be agitated and disturbed. And, and uh, don't let the fear of God, or don't let the fear of the world overtake you, amen. But let the peace of God guard over your hearts and minds in Christ Jesus. Father God, thank you for this opportunity. Thank you for Eric and, and Kelly for letting me come in and do this. I pray that you will bless Kenny Thacker's project, that all the money goes to other ministers to help them in their ministry, every dime of it. And we just thank you, Lord, for things like this that will con continue to walk, not stand in terror, stand still in, in fear, but in terror, but you will make our feet like hinds feet, that we can walk on the high places. And Lord, we will continue to walk and continue to work. And Lord, even, uh, even though things aren't perfect in this world today, we put our faith and our trust in you, that you have it all under control. Like last week, we were talking about that, how great you are. And Lord, we just thank you for your greatness in our lives. And we cast our care on you for you care for us. Lord, somebody needs this peace in their heart tonight and or today. Lord, I thank you for that peace. Jesus, you said, I will leave with you your peace. We receive it today 
In Jesus' name, amen. Well, God bless you folks. I want to say thank you for joining me on my Sunday string along. But at the same time, while I'm here in the studio, some of you will say, well, why don't you just show us around a little bit? I won't show you much, but I'll just raise it up here and say, isn't that a beautiful thing? And maybe uh, Kelly's in there. I don't know if you can see the control room here. But uh, anyway, uh, thank you, Eric, once again for allowing me to do this. God bless you folks, and thanks for joining me on my Sunday string along.